proud to meet you. You too, sir. So how is production going on your new film, The War Within? So production on The War Within, um, it's been going really good. Um, I, for about four to five months during the summertime, it took, it took a while to make because I wasn't really in that mood of finishing it or I didn't have like the, the zeal or the passion to make it. Um, but as of now, we're starting production up again. Um, there's a few more scenes that I'm um, currently trying to make. Um, it sort of comes as a ghost. I think if I have a new thought that I'm like, okay, I'm going to add that in the movie. Hopefully, um, I'm going to start a new trailer and I'm hoping to release that by Thanksgiving or Christmas. And we're ho hopefully I'll get a lot more new footage and so then people will start to see what the movie's about, what they're going to see, what they're going to expect. Sounds pretty good to me. It sounds like your movie is right on track. What are some motives in your life right now that make you keep continuing to want to work on this? I think for any artist, for anybody, you know, whether you're a writer, painter, um, musician, that I think any motives that come from your work comes from personal experiences. Um, for me, because you know, I had that dryness when I was making this movie, I didn't really know, you know, what the direction it was going into. I really didn't have a passion or a zeal to finish it, but then, you know, I don't know, I guess for everybody, you sort of need to take that break when like, you're working on something that's really personal and then leave it how it is, but then when you come back to it, you know, it's, in a way it's like a fresh new start. So I think for motives for me, it's just, you know, things in my personal life where, you know, I mean, the movie's called The War Within, so obviously the, the title is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it has, you know, themes of, you know, you know, love, faith, hope, you know, these themes is what that drives people because seeing other people's works and seeing the things that I have in my life too, you know, it, it inspires me to do good. It inspires me to, you know, do something, be creative, and um, do something that I believe I was here um, to do. What was it in the beginning that made you start working on this film? Again, going back to the artist or the musician, you know, they have a story to tell. They have due to certain events in their lives, they create something in order to show what they have, you know, they express what they have, emotional. Um, I think for me too, this movie started where I was in a place where I was trying to understand, you know, what it is, why I feel a certain way, why I think this way, why I respond to certain things that way. And a lot of it has to do with uh, my faith. When I was like three years old, uh, I remember going through my parents' um, CD albums, and you know I looked through everything. And everything looked boring, and then I saw a copy of *The Phantom of the Opera*. For some reason, when I was little, I fell in love with the music. I just loved the music. I loved the character, and it just stuck with me. Over time, too, growing up, you know, I'm sure a lot of people can relate. You know, I I like Batman. Batman was a really you know cool hero in a way I can reflect. And then everything sort of happened around junior year of high school, like the beginning of junior year of high school, where, you know, I remember I watched the Phantom of the Opera movie, and a lot of what I do sort of reflects from his character. He lives out in the Paris Opera House underneath in the catacombs, and he sort of hides himself from the world in solitude because of his deformed face, but he longs to have acceptance, he longs to have beauty in his life. And uh, he starts falling in love with a girl named Christine, and it become and he, she becomes like his inspiration for everything that he does. And personally, for me, that's something that in my life too I can really reflect because I grew up taking dance lessons. You know that whole inspiration of the arts and just you know doing, forming, and filmmaking, all that stuff. I sort of knew who I was. I found my identity in a sense of my passion, which was filmmaking, and meeting people like you, Sean. Uh, making movies, um, showing things to the world, show, like for any person, like I said before, showing things that are in your heart, that are in your mind, that you want other people to see because you want them to have an emotional reaction because you have that same emotional reaction. I think for any, every single person out there, they, they desire to have love, they desire to have a relationship with somebody. And there have been moments in my life, I'm not, I can't, I don't want to name who they are, but there have been moments in my life where, you know, I've had a longing or you know, I want to have somebody in my life where I can, I can sort of make videos or make movies because that person was my passion. I did was my inspiration. I wanted to make something because that person inspired me to do it because I cared for that person. That's what I like to do is taking something that's emotional to me, 
putting it on the screen and have other people react to that um, with the same emotional connection that I do. To me that's very rewarding and that's something that I love doing as a filmmaker and you know whoever it is that I love it fuels the flame. There is a girl in my class that I liked. Um, obviously she didn't feel the same way towards me. For about a year and a half I kept pursuing her but I knew for a fact that you know there's something in, there was something in her that I knew that she didn't like about me and unfortunately ironically actually there was a movie that I made it's called Constant Angel this was filmed again a few years ago and I found out something that I shouldn't have found out and ironically that was the same day I was filming the ending scene because like I said before in my movies like Constant Angel there's a lot of symbolism that's involved there and with the symbolism it sort of shows you know it reflects towards certain aspects of my life which I love to put in and for that circumstance you know it hurt but I sort of had an escape with filmmaking because it's something that I can use to express myself and for other people to see like I said I had an emotional connection with the movie or whatever movie I make and that's why I like when I present a movie or a work or whatever other people get to see that too. What is your favorite scene so far? I'm actually filming the scene at my old kindergarten school. As he walks into school you hear really faint sad music as if like there's a connection like it has something to do with your childhood and I actually have old photographs of myself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk in the school and actually go to the actual places I was like 16, 17 years ago and take the actual photo and put myself in that same place where the photo was taken as like a flashback, flash, flash. And why is that my favorite scene? Well, you know, I was there when I was little and that's where I first learned about God. So how did you find God in your life? One day, I remember, I was sitting in my room and I remember watching the Prince of Egypt movie. So I looked on YouTube to see if that movie was there, just for the heck of it. And it was on YouTube, so I started watching it, and then it was like the heavens opened up. For instance, one of the major scenes in this movie was the burning bush. That scene in that movie just exploded in me, and I just, in a way, had a, a revelation of God, of understanding God's love. And that just sort of... It became a new birth. It, 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 it grew into something that was going to go into a whole new different direction. And then that's what led into Constant Angel too. And then over time I started seeing God in everything that I did. And that's something that I wanted to show to the world. To show how much they are loved by God. And Constant Angel and this new movie, The War Within. You know, the war within, that's, that's the whole point. It's a war within. It's the war that's in your soul of trying to understand what truth is and what's not. For the war within, that is something that I wanted to show people is that there is something that's going on. There's a war within in all of our souls. And it's our choice either to accept the truth or to, de or to deny the truth. And in my view, I wanted to take the reality of planet Earth that we live in, a, wor a world where there's a lot of, again, misery, death, um, pain, but also show the light and the hope there were certain parts in my life, certain events in my life, that sort of led on to my faith and my film projects. Um, I remember a few months after um, I started growing my faith, me and my friend Sean, we had a, a film class, it was a night class, and we were just driving around for like a few hours because we still had time before class started. And we decided, hey, let's go in this church and pray just for the heck of it. Um, as you remember, uh, we walked in the church and we just started praying. A few months after, I remember your dad, uh, he got into a coma, and I remember going to class Wednesday night, Sean wasn't there, so I felt led to go to the church and to pray. And apparently he had a, he had a testimony that he actually saw heaven. Um, going back to my story, I was at that same church, and I walked in the church and I saw a woman sitting, sitting there. I don't know, she was reading a book, I couldn't really understand what book she was reading. And I said, can I pray here? She's like, yeah, sure. So I sat down and I started praying. And then after I, I finished praying, she looked at me and said, what'd you pray about? I told her. She grabbed my hand and she started praying for me out loud. She told me who my name was and said my name was Jordan. She gave me a hug and I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. I drove back to the school, wasn't really thinking much of it. And I had a class with you, if you remember, Sean. 
and um, nothing really happened. You know, it was the same as every day. And we walked out of the school, and I said bye, you said bye. I sat in my car, it was a blue sky day, it was pretty warm outside. So then I'm like, oh man, it's kind of warm. So I opened the windows. 10 seconds at least after I opened the windows, a dove flies into my car, flutters around, and I pretty much scream bloody murder. And then it flies right back out. And I didn't really think much of it, so I, I was texting random people, oh my gosh, this happened. So then, as I was driving home on Transit Road, I saw a car pull in front of me. And on the car were Bible verses about love and peace. And I, I thought that was really cool. I really thought that God was saying, you know, peace to me. And even as I'm talking to you right now, you know, it's something that's, it's cool. It's really cool.